This research paper delves into the life, journey, and art of Rembrandt van Rijn, a prominent and influential Dutch Baroque painter. The study explores his childhood, adolescence, and adulthood, detailing his artistic development, working methodologies, and key paintings that shaped his legacy. By incorporating historical milestones, significant dates, and pivotal events within the art world, this dissertation aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of Rembrandt's life and significant contributions to the art world. Introduction Rembrandt van Rijn, born on July 15, 1606, in Leiden, the Netherlands, is widely regarded as one of the greatest artists in the history of Western art. His exceptional talent, innovative techniques, and profound understanding of human emotion have left an indelible mark on the art world. This dissertation will delve into the intricate details of Rembrandt's life, from his humble beginnings to his rise as a celebrated master painter. Childhood and Early Life Rembrandt was born into a middle-class family, the ninth of ten children. His father, Harman Jaretsoon van Rijn, was a miller, and his mother, Nielken Willems Dr. Van Zutbroek, was a baker's daughter. He received his early education at Aladdin School in Leiden. At a young age, Rembrandt showed a keen interest in drawing and painting, which led him to apprentice under local artists, including Jacob van Swanenberg and Peter Lastman. Adolescence and Artistic Development In 1624, Rembrandt moved to Amsterdam to study with Peter Lastman, where he honed his skills in narrative painting and biblical scenes. During this period, he began experimenting with light, shadow, and emotional depth in his work, laying the groundwork for his signature style. Rembrandt's exposure to the Italian masters and the works of Caravaggio significantly influenced his artistic development. Early Career and Notable Works By the early 1630s, Rembrandt had established his studio in Leiden and gained recognition for his remarkable talent. His innovative use of light and shadow, known as chiaroscuro, became a hallmark of his work. Some of his early masterpieces, such as The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nikolai's Tulp, 1632, and The Blinding of Samson, 1636 exemplify his mastery of dramatic lighting and complex storytelling. Maturity and Golden Age During the 1640s, Rembrandt's career reached its peak, commonly referred to as his Golden Age. He produced a series of masterpieces, including The Night Watch, 1642, a monumental group portrait that revolutionized the genre. Despite financial troubles and personal losses, Rembrandt continued to produce compelling works that delved deep into human psychology and emotion. Late Career and Legacy In the later years of his life, Rembrandt faced financial hardships and personal tragedies, leading to a decline in his popularity. However, his late works, characterized by introspection and a profound exploration of the human condition, are considered some of his most profound. Rembrandt passed away on October 4, 1669, in Amsterdam, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire artists and art enthusiasts worldwide. Conclusion Rembrandt's unparalleled artistic vision, technical mastery, and deep introspection make him a pivotal figure in the history of art. His innovative use of light and shadow, emotional depth, and storytelling prowess set him apart as a true genius of the Baroque period. Through this research paper, we have delved into the life and art of Rembrandt, gaining a deeper appreciation for his contributions to the art world and his enduring legacy as a master painter. Rembrandt Harmansoon van Rijn, commonly known as Rembrandt, was a Dutch painter and one of the greatest artists in the history of Western art. He was born on July 15, 1606 in Leiden, the Netherlands, to a prosperous family. His father was a miller, and his mother was a baker's daughter. Rembrandt showed an early talent for drawing and painting, and at the age of 14, he enrolled at the University of Leiden to study Latin and the humanities. However, he quickly realized that his true passion lay in art, 
and he began studying painting under the renowned artist Jacob van Swanenberg. In 1624, Rembrandt moved to Amsterdam to study with the painter Peter Lastman. During this time, he developed his distinctive style, characterized by dramatic use of light and shadow, and emotional intensity. In 1627, he set up his own studio in Leiden and began taking on students. By the 1630s, Rembrandt had established himself as one of the leading painters in Amsterdam. He received commissions from wealthy patrons, including the Dutch royal family, and his fame spread throughout Europe. In 1634, he married Saskia van Eilenberg, the daughter of a wealthy art dealer, and the couple had several children. Rembrandt's most famous works include, The Night Watch, 1642, The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nikolai's Tulp, 1632, and The Jewish Bride, 1665. He was a prolific artist, producing over 600 paintings, 300 etchings, and 1,400 drawings during his lifetime. Despite his success, Rembrandt faced financial difficulties in his later years, due to extravagant spending and mismanagement of his finances. In 1656, he was forced to declare bankruptcy and sell his house and art collection. Rembrandt's later works are characterized by a more introspective and contemplative style, reflecting the hardships he faced in his personal life. He continued to paint until his death on October 4, 1669, in Amsterdam. Today, Rembrandt is considered one of the greatest artists of all time, known for his innovative use of light and shadow, expressive brushwork, and psychological insight. His works continue to inspire and influence artists around the world, and his legacy lives on in museums and galleries across the globe. Rembrandt van Rijn is one of the most renowned Dutch painters in history, famous for his mastery of light and shadow, as well as his ability to capture emotion in his portraits. Born on July 15, 1606, in Leiden, Netherlands, Rembrandt showed early talent in art and began studying with a local artist at a young age. During his youth, Rembrandt attended Leiden University but soon decided to pursue a career in art. He moved to Amsterdam in 1631 to further his studies and quickly gained a reputation as a skilled painter. By the age of 26, he had already completed several impressive works, including The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Tulp, in 1632. In the following years, Rembrandt continued to produce a prolific amount of work, often focusing on biblical and historical themes. His use of light and shadow became more pronounced, creating a sense of drama and emotion in his paintings. In 1634, he married Saskia van Eilenberg, who became a frequent subject in his portraits. One of Rembrandt's most famous works, The Night Watch, was completed in 1642 and showcased his ability to capture movement and action in a single frame. However, his personal life faced challenges, including financial difficulties and the loss of his wife and children. Despite these hardships, Rembrandt continued to produce exceptional works, such as The Jewish Bride, in 1667, which exemplified his skill in conveying intimacy and tenderness. He died on October 4, 1669, and left behind a legacy of over 300 paintings, 300 etchings, and 2,000 drawings. Rembrandt's impact on the art world cannot be overstated, as his innovative techniques and emotional depth continue to inspire artists to this day. His ability to capture the human experience in all its complexity remains a testament to his enduring legacy as a master painter. Rembrandt van Rijn was a Dutch painter widely considered one of the greatest artists in European art history. He was born on July 15, 1606, in Leiden, Netherlands, to a prosperous miller. Rembrandt showed early talent for drawing and was enrolled in Latin school at a young age. In 1620, Rembrandt began studying at the University of Leiden, but soon left to pursue a career in art. 
He became an apprentice to the painter Jacob van Swanenberg and later to Peter Lastman in Amsterdam. In 1631, at the age of 25, Rembrandt established his own studio in Leiden and quickly gained recognition for his innovative use of light and shadow, as seen in his early works like The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nicolai's Tulp, 1632. In 1639, Rembrandt moved to Amsterdam, where his career flourished. He received commissions from wealthy patrons and painted masterpieces such as The Night Watch, 1642, and the Jewish Bride, 1665. Despite his success, Rembrandt faced financial difficulties and personal tragedies, including the loss of his wife and children. In the latter part of his life, Rembrandt's style evolved, and he experimented with different techniques, creating introspective and deeply emotional works like Self-Portrait with Beret and Turned Up Collar, 1659, and The Return of the Prodigal Son, 1669. He died on October 4, 1669, in Amsterdam, leaving behind a rich legacy of over 300 paintings, 300 etchings, and 2,000 drawings. Rembrandt's impact on art history is profound, with his ability to convey human emotion and psychological depth setting him apart from his contemporaries. His innovative use of light and shadow, known as chiaroscuro, influenced generations of artists and continues to inspire art lovers today. An intense psychological study of people, objects, and their surroundings coupled with an earnest Christian devotion fueled Rembrandt's life and work. Incredibly gifted as an artist from a very young age, he became a master of portraits of all types, historical, biblical, and mythological scenes, as well as simple, charming but dramatic landscapes. He used many types of materials and techniques with unusual sensitivity and spontaneity to develop his message. His approaches to composition, color usage, and shadow were ever-changing to produce the most powerfully moving but most natural moments of human existence. His supreme mastery of light and texture to emphasize emotional depth weaved a common theme through all of his creations, cementing his status as one of art's greatest, innovative masters. These qualities are evident from his large, ambitious early history paintings to his more intimate and glowing later style. The iconic genius is generally regarded as the most important artist in Dutch art history as his work epitomized the great period of wealth and cultural achievement known as the Dutch Golden Age.